15 asks, which compound has an enantiomeric relationship with the following compound? If you want to take a compound and you want to draw its enantiomer, there are a couple of things that you can do. You can either put a mirror plane right here and you can reflect the compound across the mirror plane. We're just taking every single point and reflecting it across the mirror plane. The other thing that you can do is invert every chiral center. It's actually a little bit easier to do. You can just leave the molecule precisely as it is. You don't have to visualize any kind of transformation. Take every chiral center and invert it. So in this case here, that would involve taking every one of these wedge bonds and turning them into dash bonds. Option A is exactly that. We have bromine in the same spot, but it's on a dash. Chlorine in the same spot, but it's on a dash. Hydroxyl in the same spot, but it's on a dash. So we definitely have inverted the stereochemistry at each of those three chiral centers. So this is an enantiomer. Now, let's look at C. How can we get from A to C? Let's see if those are the same molecule. Very quickly, we can see that if we took A and we flipped it over like a piece of paper, just flip it over onto the other side, so let's illustrate that this way. We're going to do 180 degrees, flipping it like a piece of paper. We do get C. Bromine was on the top, now it's on the bottom, but instead of being on the dash, it's now on the wedge. It was going away from us, we flipped it over, now it's going towards us. Same with the chlorine, same with the hydroxyl. C is the same structure as A. We just flipped it onto the other side. If A is the enantiomer of the original compound, then C must also be, because it's the same thing. Now, is there anything that we can do to C to get structure B? Well, certainly there is. It looks like everything remained in the same plane, but we rotated it. So let's say that we rotate it 180 degrees in the plane of the screen. So we went like this. We just turned it like a piece of paper. And we do get B. So we had hydroxyl on the bottom right. Now it's on the top left. We had chlorine in the middle on the bottom. Now it's on the top. And then we had bromine on the bottom left. Now it's on the top right. So we rotated that 180 degrees. So we do still have the same molecule. A, B, and C are all the same structure. And they're all the enantiomer of the original molecule. So this one is going to be D, all of the above.